Hey guys, Santi here, back with another video. Um, for this video, I decided to do a new tier list because uh, it's been a, some time since I made a previous tier list, and the game has changed a lot. Like in two weeks, that I made another tier, uh, my previous tier list. So uh, this is updated, new. Uh, my thoughts on everything. So uh, if you don't agree with something, you don't have to hate on it. Uh, I am almost a sheer rank, so uh, I can tell you from PvP experience what's good and what isn't good, or what's balanced, or, you know, what tier everything deserves. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right straight into it. Oh, but before we do, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, because these tier lists, uh, I hope they help y'all. So if they do help y'all decide what you're getting, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe. But anyways, let's start with Akaza. Akaza, it's strong, it has... Akaza with the Akaza fighting style is just broken. It's so good. Uh, the Akaza alone, it's it's the good. It has a good move set, so I think it's like A tier, A tier. And with the fighting style, it's S tier. Cause holy crap, you, with the fighting style, this thing combos. It's just OP. It's really strong. It's it's crazy. So if you're gonna get Akaza, I definitely suggest the Akaza fighting style. Um. So, yeah, if you have a Kaza and you want to spin it, I suggest you keep it. Unless you're trying to get strength. But, uh, let's go with Black Thunder. Uh, Black Thunder, also A. Not as good as a Kaza, but it's still up there. I'd say high B, but it's also A. It also deserves A. Um, it's pretty annoying. Actually, we'll go B tier, because it's not as good as the other ones I'm going to mention. So, high B tier for sure. Um, that grab move that grabs you, it's pretty annoying. Um... The, thun the the lightning dashes it has, they're probably the best dashes in the game. They're instant teleport dashes. They're definitely good. They're up there. Um, what else? What else does Thunder have in its Black Thunder have in its kit? Uh, the Thunder God mode is pretty good to counter certain moves in the game. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, definitely high B tier. Uh, for sure. Let's go with Flame Breathing now. Flame breathing, it's hard to land combos with. It's more like a spam kind of thing because the combos, they're not super hard to land, but they're not uh, easy, as easy to land as other breathing styles. I definitely say it's high A tier. Uh, it's definitely in the A tier because it does do a lot of damage. It does crazy damage, and with the Rengoku family, it, the, that one move it gets does 50 damage and the burn damage. It's crazy. Um, so, with its family, I would put it S tier. Because uh, of the damage output, not because of the combos or anything. But normally I just put it middle B tier, mid B tier. Now, Insect Breathing. Um, insect Breathing just came out. It has an auto track move uh, from from certain range. It's not insane range, but it's pretty good. Uh, I'm using breathing uh, Butter Insect Breathing at the moment. It's pretty good. The iframes, you have a combo extender and a combo finisher. It does so much damage. Uh, it's like fire, but with combo extenders and an iframe move. Um, that's literally what it is. So, yeah, definitely S tier. I definitely put insect breathing in S tier. So, yeah, it's also easy to get. If that makes sense. Okay, well, it's easy for me. Anyways, mist breathing, also S tier. Three combo extenders, basically, and uh, an iframes move. Maybe it did get nerfed a bit, but it's still S tier. Like, what beats three combo extenders and an iframes move? Nothing does. Well, maybe, maybe these these up here rival each other. So, like, both have an iframe move that lets you skip any combo, and three combo extenders. So that's pretty good. And you have the shot, sod shotgun, if you're using it. But anyways, the kill Tokito clan or not Tokito, um, mist breathing is S tier. Uh, Shadow, Shadow is S tier as well. Let me tell you why. If you have the Great Sword uh, with Shadow, hey, that's a really strong combo. It's annoying. It's annoying to fight uh, a Great Sword alone, especially if it's a Shadow. Now, against Demons, it's OP. Against Slayer, it's also OP because you can't really dodge as a Slayer. Uh, if they drain you, yeah, it's definitely S. And uh, it, it has that drain move. It has an iframes move as well that lets you escape any combo. It, and it does a lot of damage. Uh, the moves do a lot of damage. So the two moves they have to do damage do a lot of damage. So yeah, definitely S tier. 
now we have string uh string is definitely a tier it's good it has good damage it has range it has a pretty strong combo ender like when you fling someone and then they do that like string move that can hit you from across the, the dual arena or whatever it's pretty good um it has a nasty combo with uh, the akaza fighting style so but alone it's it's a tier for sure it's in a tier now let's finish off with thunder or get to the breathings thunder breathing it's a tier i'm um, just gonna leave it at that the combos are good it has an infinite combo basically if it's really good with kamado i would put it s tier but normally i'd put it a tier um it, it, the kit is just good. The infinite combo it has is good. It's just so strong. Um, with Kanroji, it, it's also pretty good. Um, water breathing, also A tier, but it's... I'd say it's... It's tied with flame? Not tied with flame, but around so. Um, water and... The combos on water aren't as, as hard to land as in flame. But... I don't know. It it does do a good amount of damage. The moves on water do good damage. It's just not as much as Rengoku's, I'd like to say. So I mean, it's still eight here. It's not bad. And four for wind breathing. Wind breathing is not D, by the way. So I didn't mean to put it there. But uh, wind breathing, I'd probably put it B, low B tier, along with Black Thunder, because. It's just not as good as the rest of the breathings. Like, it's just not good. It doesn't have, like, many combos. And it's just easy to avoid. Two other moves that are ranged can be blocked. And the other moves are just easy to avoid. If you see it coming, you can just dodge it. So, it's... it's Maybe that one combo extender is pretty good. But other than that, the, it's just easy to avoid. And it's not as good as the rest of them. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, Black Thunder again. I, I want to talk a bit about it again. Um, I'm only putting a B tier because it's not as good as a Kaza or String. All right, it's it's still good. I would definitely put an A tier if I, but just to like it's not as good as those two. Definitely put it in a in B tier, I guess. Um, I'm not really saying which one's better than any other here because they're all good, like in A tiers. Like if that if if you understand what I'm saying, but um. Wind breathing is going in B tier because it's just not as good as the rest. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So this has been my tier list. If you liked it, drop a like and subscribe. It help if it helps you decide what you're going to get. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace, y'all.